ever wondered how the colors of the sky are formed? This is all due to Rayleigh scattering. Imagine that our atmosphere is this column of clear water right here. Now the atmosphere is filled with particles such as nitrogen and oxygen, which are much smaller than the wavelength of visible light. We shall represent those particles as this milk. Watch what happens to our light source as we increase the amount of milk. The milk turns blue and the light exiting the liquid appears slightly yellow. At noon, light from the sun goes through a shorter path to reach our eyes, so it encounters less scatterers along the way. These few scatterers affect mostly light of the shorter wavelength, such as blue and violet. Since our medium has few scatterers, these wavelengths are scattered laterally or in all directions in the medium. Because our eyes are not sensitive to ultraviolet light, we only see a blue sky. The scattered beam from the source appears slightly yellow. When we look through a polarizer, the blue color disappears at 90 degrees. This is because Rayleigh scattering is polarized and it is maximized at that angle. On the other hand, our unpolarized light retained its color. During sunrise and sunset, light takes a longer path to reach our eyes and encounters more scatterers along the way. We shall represent this by placing our light source this way. The blue and violet wavelengths are scattered more with a longer path, so we see more of the longer wavelengths of yellows, oranges, and reds. Sunsets in urban cities are less vibrant because of the high amount of dust particles and pollutants in the air that scatter more light. Water droplets in the sky are large enough to scatter the entire spectrum of visible light. Equal scattering of all wavelengths, called me scattering, makes clouds appear white against the background of the blue sky.